I'm retiring finally, yeah. Why? I've always said, I think, and anybody who's worked with me in restaurants and kitchens have always kind of heard me rant uh, that I would leave when I was 50, right? Right. And uh, I worked for a lot of guys, uh, you know, in my career that should have left when they were 50. I've seen a few guys, like, maybe, like, die in their kitchens, have heart attacks in their kitchens, or just work till they were completely kind of irrelevant, you know, some sad ends in the restaurant business sometimes. So, I don't know. I always had this image that I would leave when I was 50. People think, oh, cooking. I say, you know what cooking is? It's like, it's 5% cooking, 95% cleaning. To be able to make I mean, it's a good point. dinner for 50 people, right, it's take you, you know, four hours and 12 hours to clean up, right? It, it's, it's no glamour. I just became angry, you know, somewhat, you know, I was angry at the door, angry at the stairs, angry at the refrigeration technician, angry at the air conditioning, angry at the heating system, angry at the door lock, at the alarm system, angry at the young chefs, angry at the older chefs, angry at the dishwasher machine, you know, angry at the price of meat, angry at the price of vegetable. Like it's just, I just became ultimately, you know, disillusioned, angry, tired, and uh, perhaps at the end, you know, I got a little bit snappy, and you know, I got maybe a couple of like, you know, I might have snapped on a couple of people that I shouldn't have, you know, just because it's in a dark, angry place. I no longer, when I woke up in the morning, I didn't relish coming to work, you know, and I'm lucky because 99% of my career, I woke up and couldn't wait to get to work. And many people can't say that. I can say that. You know, I've had a beautiful career in Montreal. Well, the people that I've cooked for, the restaurants that I've worked in, I've seen these amazing, beautiful years, all the relationships that I've made, the good, the bad even parts of it, you know, the people I've fought with, the controversy, the, the great successes, the traveling, uh, the restaurants I've eaten in, the wines I've drank, you know, the friends that I have all through the city, you know, uh, it's been a, I've had a terrific, you know, terrific career, but I really started hitting a wall, you know, so I'm 50, I said, I don't, I don't, coming out of the pandemic, I was just like, it's either I like, I really like tie my boots on, you know, pull up my pants and get to work and give it another 10 years. But I, I'd wake up in the middle of the night with cold sweats thinking that I still had to walk the dining room and shake hands and make sure that the walk-in fridge was clean and that, you know, that was this constant worry about the door being locked, you know? Or whenever I see like a, a Hydro Quebec vehicle in the front of the restaurant, I think automatically that we have to close and there's, there's a lot of, of complex, multi-trigger PTSD. It's a difficult job, you know, like, you know. I realized too, you know, because I've been thinking a lot about my career over the last three weeks, and, you know, I'm realizing that like, you know, there's been a hell of a lot of suicides, quite a bit of drug overdoses, lots of drug abuse, and alcoholism, you know, and things like that. So, you know, I'm happy to be at 50, you know, relatively, a bit, I'm pretty damaged, but, you know, Health-wise, I'm good. You know, when we lost Anthony Bourdain, we, don't forget we lost John Bill from cancer right. right around the same period, you know. So, you know, uh, the fun never stops coming in the restaurant business, you know. And don't forget, we're not working 35 hours or 44 hours a week here, you know. Uh, I'm 50, but, you know, there was 80 hours a week, if not 100 hours a week, for 25 years or 20 years. You know, so Freedom 55, I should have retired really when I was 42 years old, maybe. You know what I fantasize about, to be honest? You know what I want to do? I want to work at, at Home Depot. I mean, Fred knows this. We've talked about it for years, right? I would like to work as an orderly in the emergency room of the Lakeshore General Hospital. 
I would like to work at the Home Depot in the tool section or the wood section or Reno Depot. I just want a boss, right? A shift. I'm going to work three days a week at Reno Depot West Island. Just tell me where to stand, what to do. I know all about tools and wood, right? I would love to help. I'll work at the Lakeshore General for free. Just I need, I need structure and I need not to be the boss.